So, I was kind of thinking about something. If Delson was, like, to be a lantern, like a, like a green lantern or something. I'm in need of aid. Well, I have no idea what that thing said. Well, back to my thoughts. Um, if Delson were to be, like, chosen by a lantern ring, what kind of ring do you guys think he would have? Because, personally, I'm kind of leaning towards either green lantern or blue lantern. Because he's holding out hope that he will be able to, you know, gain the powers of concrete in order to save his people, right? But at the same time, he's also having the will to go on, especially like in the last episode we saw, or in one of the last episodes, where like he had no powers, and he was still willing to go up against um, Augustine. You know? Like, would he be a blue lantern or a green lantern? That That's kind of like... I, I'm kind of leaning towards those two. At least for the good karma playthrough. Anyway, hello everybody on YouTube. This is Super Nintendo and welcome back to another episode of Infamous Second Son. In the last episode, we decided to do a mission with Eugene. A.K.A. He Who Dwells. We fought against some people and used our newfound invisibility in order to save some people. But we also came across Hank, who apparently didn't die at the beginning of the game, and now wants to team up with us in order to stop Augustine. Reggie doesn't think it's a good idea, but when have we ever listened to Reggie? So, let's -a go. I think I'm gonna keep a uh, video for just a little bit longer because, like, it is our new power. You know, it is. It is our new power. We should be able to use it as much as we want. Plus, we do kind of get airborne abilities, which does make traversing these uh, gigantic um, buildings kind of a breeze. Quid pro quo. Hank, what's up? Listen, kid, I've been thinking. When you chased me across those buildings with all the helicopters and all before... Right. Yeah, I'm... I'm sorry about all that. I... No, I was just gonna say, you clearly been getting the hang of those smoke tricks I gave you. Well, I uh, kind of need you to teach me one more. You managed to escape our tower once. How'd you get past those electrified barricades? There's a transformer on a roof across the way. You gotta shut down. But it ain't gonna do you no good. She got the whole thing armored up and half the DUP forces standing guard. Right, but maybe if we both work together... Hey, my specialty's breaking out of places like that, not in. Listen. We both got our reasons for getting to Augustine. She got something each of us wants. 
But we gotta do it on our terms, not hers. We gotta draw her out of her castle and out here, where we stand a chance. Well, any ideas? Well, you know them two kids that was on the armored bus with me? Fetch and Eugene. I guess. Anyways, DUP's got them. What? Just happened. That was all the commotion before. Guess you needed to reel them in to make up for me getting loose. She's sending them out to that big concrete platform the DUP built between the two islands. Well, then we gotta help them. Now, there's a pier right across from that platform. Meet me there just after sunset. I'll be there. Reggie, Eugene and Fetch, they... I heard, I heard. Hank and I, we've worked out a plan to storm the island and take out whatever dupes are guarding them in Delson, the... Delson, I've been thinking. There have been a lot of innocent people killed lately. Normal people. Normal? Jesus, Reg. We're not going back to that, are we? Look, I'm not sure I can help you add to that count, all right? Just to set a couple of bioterrorists free. Reggie, I... I'm a cop. I'm supposed to prevent this kind of thing. Just give me a call when it's over and we'll head back to Salmon Bay. Delson, watch out for Hank. I don't trust him. Reg, what, what are you doing here? Look, those are people over there. They need our help. Not bioterrorists, not conduits. People. Well, thank you. And thank you for, for being here, so. What's cop doing here? He's my brother, okay? He's he's here for me. So what are you thinking? <clears throat> I've been doing some recon. Our best bet's the dock on the far side. It's less exposed. Figure you two can do your smoke. Gift Thank and you. draw their attention out front. I'll commandeer your boat and go in during the distraction. Why are you going in first? Because I'm a cop. Which means I can commandeer a boat and it's legal. You steal a boat, I'm gonna haul your ass in. Oh, he'll do it, too. Um, so we'll see you inside, right? Yeah. See you inside. Stay safe, boy. Now listen, we get out there and start making noise, Augustine will come running. Come on, I know a way into the island we won't be seen. You explain what happened? I saw Augustine kill you back in You saw her shut me up was what you saw. Big difference. Shouldn't have brought the cop, man. That's a mistake. Huh, funny. Said the same thing about you. Here she is. We pop in here, she'd come out smack dab in the middle of the thing. You sure about this? Hey, when I was in that tower, I saw things. One more thing. They got one of them drone things out there. The ones you get powers from. How you know about that? Sure would be nice to get a new power before stomping on Augustine. Let's go. Okay, here's the plan. We start cracking these support pillars, they feel the rumble, and the guards come down to check it out. We take them out, ha <laughs> ha, what'd I tell you? Sorry I didn't trust you, man. Damn straight. That's payback for Curtin K, Jacko! <laughs> You can see that he's using Cinder Blast, which is kind of a cool little detail. Uh. Hmm. I cannot believe we're cracking these things. Save some for the dupes, kid! Dupus. We just need to beat some dupus. These dupes are fine. Is 
It's a good thing that smoke is kind of like the the power that seems to like have the the greatest amount of economy. So like uh, we can use our powers the most with this one. Take you to tangle with me. Come on. Come on. I could really use some healing. Thank you. Come on, go into your little healy hole. There we go. I could really use some more smoke. just kind of run out of stuff to say honestly like originally for new game plus what i was gonna do is pikmin 3 and so like i got all set up to record it right but it i just ran out of shit to talk about you know hank And it's not so much that, like, I don't enjoy the game. Like, far from it. I, I love Pikmin 3. Especially with uh, the Pikmin 3 Deluxe with, like, the ultra spicy mode. I think that's great. But, like, the the, the problem that I, was, that I was facing is just... I had nothing to talk about, you know? And... I, I wanted to do that for a series because originally in my little let's play of uh, Pikmin 3 I had to re-record that entire series so many times that by the time the version of the series that you all got to see I was so fucking bored because I had played the game like four or five times at that point now you about ready for a new power L look how, how did you come on she should be here any minute hurry over here and let's see what powers you get what all of a sudden you don't trust me I don't know, man. Something's not right. Maybe I should call Reggie. Hank! Henry, you didn't disappoint me. I did like you asked. You just do like you promised. You son of a bitch! I trusted you! Never trust a convict. I see we found something in your size, but just to be sure. Oh, lady. My brother finds out what you did. Oh, he is gonna. He's gonna what? No! <sighs> oh, you could have hit me. Yeah, that's payback for blasting me with the angels. Now, come on, get up. Come over here. I'll get those cuffs off you. This way. I'll cover you. Right. Still alive. 
It's gonna come back and I can't use any powers with this concrete crap on! What the hell happened? It's a trap, man. Hank let us out here so Augustine could kill us. Holt! God, I just don't understand why he would do that to us! Because he's a bad guy, and bad guys do bad things. You may have superpowers, but it wouldn't hurt you to still listen to your brother every once in a while. Gotta hurry, I can't fight Augustine like this. Okay, get up here. I'm trying. Fashion way. What do you mean? Uh, put your hands up here. Don't flinch. I knew we couldn't trust him. Okay, okay, you were right. If I had listened to you, we wouldn't even be here. Uh huh. Well, as long as we are here, we should save those two. Oh, crap! Look out! Nelson, look at me. You gotta let me go. No, I can do this. Listen, can we can't this. let can this stuff this. get to you two. David, I'm so proud of you. No. Always have been. No. Lindsay, don't. I love you, bro. No! Tortured my people!
Definitely felt that. This is Kurt Wyatt reporting from the scene of an intense battle between the DUP and a small group of bioterrorists. You can see the last of the massive structure built by the DUP as it sinks into the icy waters of Puget Sound. Eyewitnesses tell us that the only survivor was DUP head Brooke Augustine, last spotted heading in the direction of the concrete tower that has served as our headquarters since the DUP arrival nearly two weeks ago. But so far, our efforts to reach Miss Augustine have produced no response. And now we're getting reports of scattered demonstrations by local citizens in support of the DUP, demanding that the bioterrorist uprising in Seattle be ended by any means necessary. For US TV, this is Kurt Wyatt, reporting live from Seattle. A 70 centimeter square window. The sky's a bit clearer today. The rain has passed me by. I went and opened up the window again. I can't remember why. The signs that I kept into the walls have flown out of the room. Soon I'll find my way to you. I have. 